swimming facility, women's 200 meter freestyle. And Missy Franklin, what a world championships Missy Franklin had. Three gold medals, two in relays, won the 200 meter rack stroke and now 16 years of age. Six foot, one and a half inches out of Centennial, Colorado. And everybody has got high hopes, but realistic expectations of what she might be able to do with a very broad-based program coming up in London. And, and this is the toughest event of them all, I think, as far as the program and the way it's set up. She's got the semifinals, if and if she swims this and the hunter back, and we'll get that, that more that later on. Chelsea Cheneau will be in lane one, the 17-year-old. Barbara Jardin, another Canadian, swims for the, at the, out of the Canadian National Training Center. Katie Hoff will be in lane three. Fourth in Beijing, won a gold in the relay in the four by 200. Now 22 years of age, next to her, Allison Schmidt. Silver at the 09 World Championships, ninth in Beijing, but really coming on in this event. And there is Missy Franklin. Really showed a lot last year in the Grand Prix series. Nina Rangelova from Bulgaria swims for Southern Methodist University will be in lane six. Brittany McLean from Canada, 17 years of age. The Canadian will be in lane seven. And from Longhorn Aquatics, Adrian Woods will be in lane eight. Very, very strong field. Again, Missy Franklin, the fastest time in the world in 2011. And that was swimming the leadoff leg in the four by 200. And that's the only time that a time can stand as a fastest in the world is the leadoff leg, and there is Franklin. Schmidt in lane four, Hoff in lane three, Franklin in five. As dominant as she was in Shanghai, she only swam one individual event. Now, well, granted, I guess you take two, she swam the 50 backstroke, but she only qualified for one individual, and that was the 200 backstroke. But you throw the three relays that she was on, winning the bronze in the 50 backstroke, she just came out with three golds and a bronze. It's pretty good. Well, we talked about it before we came on air, and, you, and you've already talked about Michael Phelps' program in Beijing, 17 races. For Missy Franklin, it could be 15. Yeah, she could have a busy schedule, and this, as I said, could be one of the toughest although the hunter back might be the toughest, and we'll see that tomorrow when she swims that. But if she does swim this pro swim this in the program, Paul, what happens is in the Olympic program, this semifinal of the 200 freestyle falls about 15 to 20 minutes before the final of the 100 backstroke. So she's got a lot of major decisions to come this summer. And, and, and believe me, the final of the hunter back might be the toughest because that is field is loaded. You throw in Natalie Coggle and the rest of the world, and the way they're swimming, it's not an easy event. Missy Franklin and Allison Schmidt, as expected, lane four and five, battling it out. Katie Hoff there as well, and also having a nice swim, Nina Rangelova from Bulgaria and SMU in lane six. Boy, this is so good for both Schmidt and Franklin to be able to have this. You see him right there leading the pack. Schmidt, so solid all the way, very consistent, and swimming very well. She normally doesn't swim very fast tired, but boy, she has been swimming great here the last few months and really just had a wonderful turn there. That last turn by Allison Schmidt, you usually see that from uh, Missy Franklin. Boy, she had a good one. Allison Schmidt heading for home, now with almost a full body length lead over 16-year-old Missy Franklin. And Allison Schmidt, an outstanding 150 meter, the 50 meters after the first 100, and just put it away. Wow. Wonderful back 100 meters by Allison Schmidt. It'd be really interesting, Rowdy, to look at her splits. First 100 to the second. Missy Franklin just could not hang with Allison Schmidt over the last 75, let alone 100 meters. Well, you just see the turn there, Schmidt. Watch this right there. There she is here coming into the wall. Look how close Franklin is right underneath her. And this is the turn that she just really exploded off, stayed underwater for a good seven and a half to eight meters, and just kicked it in. 28.8 of the last 50. She went about the same time. In fact, only one one hundredth of a second slower than she went in Shanghai at the World Championship. So right now, Allison Schmidt is just swimming so great. 4.05 in the 400 yesterday. Boy, she is on fire. The World Championships in this particular event, she was sixth and really coming on, 155.03. Her best time ever 
154.96. So showing that she is. Uh, and that was certainly, during the suit here. Yeah, certainly getting ready. That is a marvelous time. And Missy Franklin uh, not able to keep up over the last 100 meters. Allison Schmidt, the winner, joining us now down on the deck. Allison, just a wonderful, wonderful time. And you really put Missy away in that final turn. Is that something that you've really been emphasizing, or did you just really hit it? Thanks. I mean, I'm just trying to keep four fast 50, so I was working on that last wall and was just going for it. Uh, Allison, this is Roddy. What, what do you think of this race compared to your 400 and, and how it falls in the program for you as we head into the summer? Oh, I mean, I'm definitely excited for both, both races, so I'm training faster than I ever have, and uh, it's showing off in my races, so I'm excited to see how it ends up at Olympic Trials and Olympics. Allison, I'm going to ask this question very slowly because you just worked really hard and you need a moment to catch <laughs> your breath. So I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. But Rowdy pointed out that your personal best was during the suit era. And here we are, the, just the start of 2012, you look up and that was a time, did it surprise you? Yeah, I mean, definitely surprised me in Minnesota and being able to repeat it, it makes me really confident leading into the summer. So. I mean, I'm just keep on training hard and working towards my goals. And, and, and Allison, what do you think the difference has been? I mean, for you, I mean, you've always been fairly consistent, actually real consistent in your swimming, but you've taken it to another level. What's the difference been? I mean, I moved training facilities from Georgia to Baltimore and I've been solely focusing on swimming, taking the year off of school. So, I mean, that's helped to focus on it. And I was there in 08, I know what it takes. And so I'm just preparing myself for this summer. Allison, great job. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. That was a lot of hard work to fend off Missy Franklin. Meet continues, Ryan Lochte coming up next Thank in the you. 200 free.